No matter which type of kiss you prefer, International Kissing Day on July 6th is the perfect time of year to celebrate this simple but powerful gesture. From French kissing and a formal kiss on the cheek to a kiss hello and a kiss goodbye, kissing is an age-old practice with significance that extends far beyond just romance. If we go back in time, we can thank the Romans for the widespread practice of kissing in Europe. They described kissing in three forms, the osculum, which is a friendly peck on the cheek, the basium, a loving kiss on the lips, and savium, the most passionate of kisses on the mouth. In Roman society, when, where, and how you kiss someone was an important indicator of social status. The term French kiss was most likely coined by American and British servicemen in France during World War I who noticed that Gallic women were more open to employing the passionate technique than their American and British counterparts. So even though the French were clearly not the first people to engage in French kissing, it seemed only right that they were given credit for its due to the amorous enthusiasm of French lovers a century ago. For most people, a kiss is something that sparks an instant connection between two individuals. It often marks the beginning of a new relationship and later comes in handy for strengthening the bond further. Interestingly, a kiss has a deeper effect on our body and what we expect. The moment you kiss, your body releases a number of chemicals that fill you with joy and pleasure. Dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin are the chemicals responsible for the euphoric feeling that one witnesses while locking lips. A tender kiss is all you need to tackle the stress of daily life. Kissing is found to be beneficial in lowering the levels of cortisol and helping in dealing with stress and anxiety. So what are you waiting for? Go out and kiss. Someone you know, of course.